Hi, it's been a while since I've made one of these videos, but we've got the Maths Admissions Test for Oxford Imperial and Warwick coming up, and so I thought I'd make a video going through some of the questions from last year's paper. Um, I sat this paper myself, or, or a version of it, uh, some time ago, so I certainly remember the feeling of preparing for this test and um, some of the excitement of perhaps uh, applying to these universities and a bit of nervousness, but um, hopefully if you prepare for the test, you can do well. Uh, when I sat it, you actually went up to uh, Oxford to do the test whilst going for interviews. And these days, uh, you actually do it before uh, the interview. So you get to uh, show them your score before you uh, have to be chosen for interview. And that means it's a really important part of uh, the re recruitment process uh, today. It was then, but even more so now, because uh, they do make a big cut based on this paper. So do some practice and prepare. Have a go at these questions and then watch the videos uh, to see uh, how I might have approached them. So, short answer questions first, multiple choice. Uh, we've got part A uh, of question one. For what values of the real number k does the graph y equals f of x have two distinct real stationary points? Uh, so, um, to work out stationary points, we're looking for places where the gradient is zero. So I'm going to differentiate uh, f of x here. Uh, to get 6x squared minus 2kx plus 2. And this thing uh, will have two distinct real stationary points. So for a stationary point, we want to make it zero. This phrase, two distinct real, uh, usually goes with roots when you're solving quadratics. And of course, really, we are solving a quadratic here. That's what we've got. So you should know that uh, you get two distinct real roots of a quadratic when the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, is bigger than zero. So here, uh, the discriminant of this quadratic, the b is minus 2k, so that's minus 2k squared minus 4 times 6 times 2. Uh, so I want that to be bigger than zero. So that's 4k squared minus 48 is bigger than zero. That gives us k squared has to be greater than 12, and k squared larger than 12 means either k is larger than the square root of 12 or we have k is less than minus the square root of 12 and you can write the square root of 12 as the square root of 4 times the square root of 3 which is 2 root 3 so we look at the possible answers and we see the one that matches with this is b either k is less than minus 2 root 3 uh, or greater than plus 2 root 3 so there is one part a uh, keep watching the series and I'll go through the rest of the paper.